This was a very fun project for <laughs> me. Hello, and welcome to this little textile tutorial. In this video, I'm going to go through step by step how I made these little daisy patches and how I sewed them onto this notebook. So I've had this idea in my head for so long, so it's been really exciting to actually do it. Let's begin! So I fold the white material in half and cut out the petals to try and make sure that all the petals are even, I start on one side and go about halfway and then start cutting from the other side. And I'm not too picky with making sure that everything is exactly even because the unevenness adds a charm. Once the petals are cut out, I cut out the centre from this yellow material that I sprayed bleach on to give it an added pattern. I cut out the centre circle three times, once roughly and then I cut around the petals and then I cut it again to tidy things up. said that all of the footage of sewing the daisy is blurry but I've added a little animation to show how and what I sewed. So I used the free motion foot and white thread to sew around the daisy twice. I did this roughly um, just to add character um, and then on the daisy centre I used yellow thread and I sewed a swirly pattern on it. So the third step is sewing the patch onto a notebook. I used a universal straight stitch machine foot for this so I could easily sew in a straight line. I did some research about sewing onto card paper and everyone said that you need a bigger size needle so I used a size 18 needle for this and it went through the card paper really easily. Something I find really beautiful about textile art is that each piece is unique and it's so full of character. The blue and the yellow material are both hand dyed to have unique patterns and textures and each daisy is different. What I learned from this process is that free motion sewing is really difficult. <laughs> I had graced myself in the process of learning something new, so it wasn't a stressful experience, it was a lot of fun. All the materials, everything I used um, is linked in the description. If you know anyone who loves sewing or would be into this kind of thing, make sure you share it with your friend. If you follow along and sew with me um, and make something like this, please tag me, I would love to see what you make. If you want to stay up to date with tutorials and activities, make sure you subscribe. 